hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to black I will say black on black theme but my makeup's not gonna be black related today so black on black theme y'all already know if I seen my previous one um my outfit is black but my makeup I decided to let it just be anything uh, so it's like a freestyle week um, and then plus I don't think I can achieve five different black eyeshadow makeup looks they're all gonna look the same so anywho I am going to be doing a look today and I'm using the wet n wild Ohana palette this is the uh, stitch palette collaboration with wet n wild and I, for some reason I thought it was more shades in here but it's just a neutral palette with a pop of blue so that's what we're going to be doing oh and one random like pop of red and this yellow it's like a shimmery yellow but yeah anywho let's get into this look okay so I'm obvious what color I'm gonna jump right into um okay maybe it's not obvious because I was thinking another way of going but I just thought of something else I wanted to do like an all blue makeup look but it's not giving <laughs> so let's go ahead and try for this dark brown in here it looks like it can be a little bit more rich than expected so i'm just going to take that shade and i'm going to bring it all the way in my crease and to blend that shade out I think I'm gonna go in with this color. It's like a rusty, orangey red shade. So we're applying some more of that dark brown and then one more time for that orangey brown shade. So I'm gonna go back in and make sure that I blend these two together. I feel like they did okay for blending wise. Um, I was just expecting a little bit more of a different like transition, but it's cool for white and wild. So I'm gonna cut my crease off camera and jump back in with some other eyeshadows. All right, so my crease is cut. So the first shade I want to jump into is, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I do wanna apply this eyeshadow a little bit wet. This eyeshadow is actually gonna make sick note. It looks shimmery, but then again, it doesn't. Let me just do a quick finger swat. Ooh. The finger swatch over it's not so pretty. All right, we're gonna try it anyway. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more color because I wasn't really trying to go neutral, but although this is a neutral palette. But anywho, I'm gonna take this red color right here. I was thinking about taking the red metallic, but I wanna add a different texture on the lid. So I'm just gonna pop that right next to this gold. So I had to figure it out. So once I faded that dark brown into this red, it looks a lot cohesive. It looks a lot better. So that's what I'm gonna do to this side. I'm just taking that same brown that's in the crease. And I'm literally just flicking into the remaining part of that lid and making sure that I blend majority of this red off. So it won't look so ketchup and mustard hot dog-ish. 
Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more color. I don't know how this is going to go with it, but being that it's in this palette, it should go. So I'm gonna pop some blue on my bottom lash line so we can diffuse this ketchup and mustard thing that I got stuck in my head. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Morphe liner. I'll put this right in my waterline. All right, and then for the blue, I think I wanna go with the lighter blue. Oh. Let's go ahead with the dark because I think with this pop of light and lighter blue, it's going to look really pretty. And then for my inner, I'm going to put a little bit more of eyeshadow right on top of that liner to make it stick more. So I'm going in with this one. Because I can see this fading throughout the day. So I want it to be more vibrant and make it stay. So I'm just going to go right in and add it right in my waterline. I'm trying to accept the eyes. The eyes are very different. I think it's just a color combo. Hopefully you guys like it. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, yeah, but on my inner tear duct, I just want to end with this ColourPop eyeshadow. This is like my new favorite inner pop when I can't find one in the palette that I'm using. Because I went in originally with this one. And it showed up a little bit, but not the way I wanted it to shine so I just put that ColourPop eyeshadow right on top of it so my face is semi done I'm gonna move on to my lips before I decide on what blush I'm going for I'm going in with my NYX pencil Going in with this ColourPop, um, what are these called? Lip stickies, lippy sticks, lippy sticks, yeah. And I don't know the shade of this. This came in that, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, it's just numbers on the bottom, so I really don't know the shade of this one. And then I'm going in with my pink So Juicy Gloss. So I wasn't able to get anything else from this collection like literally when I went in to Ulta and I seen this collection like the whole collection there was just makeup brushes left and one palette so everything was completely gone so I didn't even get the chance to try the highlighter the blush little palette so um yeah so we're just gonna freestyle with other brands <laughs> I think I want to go in with this pretty pink blush and I always over blush because for some reason I feel like no matter what kind of blush I use throughout the day it definitely like fades away and I want it to be vibrant throughout the whole entire day so I'm gonna have it on pretty heavy right now and then my highlighter I'm going in with this loose highlighter by Colourpop this was the Shayla and Colourpop um, collaboration it's a really pretty loose gold and a little goes a long way with this highlighter Alright my love, so this completes the look. Um, now that everything is put together, I got my hair on. <laughs> um, I, I still feel like this 
color combo it's very different but the more I'm looking at it the more it is definitely growing on me and I think the only thing that's like throw me off is this red shade other than that it would have been a very typical neutral look with a pop of blue so I guess the red is it's much needed because it's giving something different so yeah and look I told y'all the blush was definitely going to fade away look at that but overall the quality in this palette is still good it's definitely good for a wet and wild brand is it the best um no but um i definitely was surprised by this shade because i thought it was going to be not so good but i do actually like the formula it's not all the way metallic but it's giving something in these blue like i already know this was going to be a vibrant blue and it's definitely blue the browns are good i wish they would have been a little bit more uh richer with the pigmentation and i think that's pretty much it if you guys want to see another look of me doing something with this palette <laughs> definitely let me know i think i definitely want to come back and do something else um because there's a lot of other shades that i did not get the chance to do just know that this is a definitely a neutral palette unless you just lean towards the blue shades only then it's going to give you something else or even the red shade hmm i might come back and do something with the red by itself to know but anywho thank you guys so much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look really quick for the outfit like i said it's just a black on black style of outfit this dress is kind of simple but i do like the little button details it's on the side of the dress and it is a little bit on the short side yeah, but we're gonna make it work okay so that's pretty much it the outfit like i said it's very simple just a nice little um black mini dress and um I think that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look please don't forget to thumbs up this video leave me your feedback down at the bottom okay and of course i'll see you guys in my next black on black style of looks i don't know <laughs> i'll see y'all when i see y'all